I'm probably right to assume that most people watching this are familiar with the blunderbuss. A short range firearm um, from the 17th, 18th and 19th century with a flat muzzle. But there was a second type of blunderbuss used by the Dutch since at least the second quarter of the 17th century. Today these are referred to as pyrotechnical uh, blunderbusses since they were used to fire incendiary arrows uh, at enemy ships. These firearms don't have the flared muzzle of a typical blunderbuss. Uh, the barrel is the same width throughout and often thicker than a typical blunderbuss would be. Uh, the chamber is often visibly smaller than the barrel. It's mentioned that during the Battle of Tehide, uh, 1653, during the First Anglo-Dutch War, uh, a Dutch ship ignited two English warships with five shots from one of these pyrotechnical blunderbusses. They estimated that the effective range of these pyrotechnical blunderbusses would be about 200 paces. Uh, the Dutch state general at the time uh, declared that if, uh, if a ship was in danger of being boarded by an enemy ship, uh, they had to throw uh, the pyrotechnical blunderbusses and their arrows overboard. A relatively thin wall barrel of a uh, pyrotechnical blunderbuss has been found at the wreck site of the Batavia, which sunk in uh, 1628. A few years back we got asked by the people of Batavialand, which is the museum that holds the modern reproduction of the Batavia, to take some pictures with their reproduction of a, pyrot of a pyrotechnical blunderbuss. The arrows fired from a pyrotechnical blunderbuss uh, often had a barbed point. Uh, underneath they had an egg-shaped incendiary device or a lightweight grenade. Some also had uh, chains attached to the arrow with small hooks on them to get entangled in uh, sails or ropes. And the wad or plug had to be placed between the arrow and gunpowder to fire it efficiently. There were also fire arrows that could be fired from bows. Although, according to the sources, these would have been different to the, to the ones being fired from a pyrotechnical blunderbuss. There are a few uh, surviving examples uh, of pyrotechnical blunderbusses in Dutch museums but I haven't been able to find any outside of the Netherlands. I have two earlier sources of shooting arrows from muskets. One is from William Boone uh, from 1587. Uh, that shows uh, the shooting of fire arrows from uh, both muskets and with bows. There's also an account from uh, 1594 from Richard Hawkins, uh, which talks about um, arrows being fired from muskets, although these uh, seem, seem to be sharpened pieces of wood uh, instead of fire arrows. Uh, but he also mentions uh, that his, his ship had um, crossbow bolts, longbow arrows, musket arrows and fire arrows.